Good afternoon, Andoni. Good afternoon. Good to see you. There's been so many positives so far this season in the first six Premier League games. You know what's coming. But unfortunately, despite the first half at Brighton, despite the performance away at Brentford and Chelsea, you still haven't won a game. Are you having to convince the players that this is the right project, this is the right process, they have to keep going, or are they still on board with what you're trying to do? Uh, no, no, I, do. I, I don't think it's even close. No, I think they, they felt the other, especially the other day, pretty good on the pitch. But I, I had to tell them that we don't have only to take the good things. We have to take the good things, but also the things that are not allowing us to, to take the points. Because they were, we know that there were a lot of good things, but it's a matter of being a more efficient team, a team that uh, takes more points from the work we are doing. And we have to take both. It's not only we take this one or no, no. It's there are good things, but also there are other things that they are not allowing us to to get uh, this win. So it's uh, 50-50, let's say. You've obviously been in the Premier League for a short space of time. How much have you learned about yourself, and have you ad had to adapt perhaps your philosophy or your view on the Premier League or English football because of what you've seen in this short space of time? Uh, you have to adapt from game to game, uh, even from half to half. Uh, but it's not about the philosophy. I'm pretty happy. I'm, I think the team is playing the way I want the team to play overall. You know, obviously I don't want to make the mistakes. I don't want to, but I, I think it's the way we want to play. It's the, the how we play the the six games. I've been. I think some games we've been better. The others were a little bit worse. But overall, is. It, the, the, the main idea is, is is this. Now we have to make these these things, uh, convert them into into wins, into points. Yeah. Obviously, the League Cups are a welcome competition for for Bournemouth. They've got to the quarterfinals a number of times in the past few seasons. Has this come at the right time for you? Is this a nice opportunity to forget about the league and, and focus on cup competition? I think they are different competitions. It doesn't matter if you come from a win or from a lose. I'm, we are taking the competition. We come from a game we won against Swansea. Uh, Still comes from uh, West Brom, Rotherham. They earned their place here, like uh, we've done, and we want to be in the last 16. And uh, we have the chance tomorrow. Uh, I, I, I expect a pretty similar game and, than the Swansea one. I think uh, uh, we have to start better than we did this game. Uh, I think comparing probably teams, Stoke uh, spends more time on the ball. He, they want to ball. They've been quite, you see the stats, and they've been, uh, they are top in, in crossing from the championship. They are in the, I think, four or five in possession wise. So even if they hadn't also the better results, I think they are doing good things. So we have to be ready. You talk about Stoke doing well. Their recent form, though, four defeats in, in five games. Can you can you kind of look at that at all, or does that go out of the window? Do they see this as an opportunity to upset a Premier League side? And no, for sure they will come with the with the host or putting us that difficult, the game very difficult. And give their best. They have good players. Uh, we we know them. We analyze them, and it's never easy. You no, know? we want to be in the next round, but we we know that we have to play a a, a good game and and earn it. What's the, the team news? I know there's obviously been a couple of knocks from the weekend, Lloyd Kelly being one of them. Tyler Adams was on the grass, getting closer, but maybe not quite right. Can you just update us on who yes, may or may uh, not be available? Yes, uh, Lloyd Kelly was injured the other day, finished the game as, as you saw with a small injury, but uh, even if it's a small injury, it's not going to be easy to, to have him before the, the international break because it's 10 days against Everton, so it's going to be tough, I think, to have him before the before the, the break. The other day before the game, I also forgot to tell about Meps. has also a small injury, probably same tight table than, than Lloyd, something similar. And uh, yes, we have the chance uh, if he trains well today, maybe we could, we could uh, put Tyler in the squad. I think he's doing really well. He's, he, wants to, he wants to help. And we have to take the decision after today's training, but I think and I hope that uh, he's available at least 
to be with us on the bench. What's your thinking with regards to your selection? Will you play your strongest side that could look like a Premier League side or will you give some of those fringe players the opportunity to play that maybe haven't had as much game time? No, whatever the selection we make, it's going to be a Premier League team because they are our players. But it's true that I think we have to change some players because uh, the time frame we have this week is six days because we play Sunday, we play Saturday against Arsenal. So uh, we are playing three games, so it's, it's uh, going to be hard. Maybe there is one, two players that have to play the three games. But uh, it's, it's not a, a, an easy week for, for us and we'll have to see how they train today because yesterday just was recovery and how I feel also the, the legs from, from some players. I spoke to David Brooks yesterday who said that one of your messages this week was that the, the cup competitions are so special. You can focus on the league, which is of course important, but the, the, the cup journeys and those magical moments are where you kind of, you know, remember your career and, and they can be the standout moments. Is that kind of a message you've given to the squad about the opportunity that this presents? Yes, I've talked about um, my experience as a player, as a coach. I think the cup competitions give you opportunities that probably for most of the teams you don't have in the league because uh, you are not uh, competing for the titles or for, you know, for the champions or whatever. Uh, and uh, they are always dangerous. That's from day one. It's always we, we saw it against Swansea. We scored last minute. Uh, but if we go step by step, it's not. It's a, it's it's a good competition where you can uh, arrive and 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 play the, the the last rounds. And just finally for me, I know this club has had such a big amount of success in the last 10, 12 years. Eddie Howe was, was obviously instrumental for, for so much of that, who I know you, you know him and you're friends with him. How nice would it be for you personally to come in and do something that perhaps he didn't do, and that is success in a cup competition? Take someone, take Bournemouth to Wembley, take this group on, onto a journey they've never been before. How much would that be a, a personal target? Yeah, obviously it would be very, very nice, but I think we are far from there. We have to go step by step because uh, it's like this, the cup competition is like this. Uh, after uh, this round, uh, there will be 16 teams. Probably half of the teams from the Premier League will be out. You know, and it, you have to take it every single game seriously. Otherwise, five minutes that you don't, you are out of the game and you are out of the competition. So you have to keep the focus, all the competition, all the games, and we'll try to do it tomorrow. And if you are, if you are in the in the draw next day, probably you see it closer. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, just one question: um, Have you got an injury update on Emmy Marcondes and Ryan Fredericks? How are they getting on? Yeah, they are they are far far from the uh, far from, from training with the with the team. It's true that uh, I've seen them on the grass this week at least even if they were just doing the physical side i think it's good for the players when they start going outside and not it's not just going in the, in the gym and the physios and so uh, they are they are in their way uh, to the recovery but they are not close to to be part of the of the trainings with the team